What's up? 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 Today we're talking about sex position to improve your sex life. And I'm going to throw this question out there. So what's your favorite sex position and why? And also, I'd like to know what sex position you want to try, but for some reason you've not had the opportunity to try or you don't have the boldness to try. So I get to kick off the show. What's your favorite sex position? The position I enjoy the most out of every position out there in the world is, is missionary. missionary. Missionary! Yeah, I think missionary is very passionate, yeah? Like, when you're doing the missionary, you get to feel the person in totality. So you can put your hand under and grab the ass and spread it wide open. You can <laughs> grip the boobs. You can kiss her. And while you're still inside, come down to the nipples. Another okay. thing is, so many women do not come from missionary. There are a few people that like to be hit hard from the back. Mm -hmm. And doggy is their fantasy. There are women that would come only by clitorical stimulation, which means that even if you're doing the missionary, you have to find a way to flip the legs wide open and use your lower tummy to okay, rub against the clit. People mm -hmm. want to know, how do you grab ass in missionary? There are two ways. But it depends on your body weight. So if the guy is very fat with big stomach, you might kill the girl if you try this one. But if she can handle your weight, then you probably just have to push your hand down below like this and grab it from below. Wow. You know, so when you grab it, you can do a lot of things with it. You can spread it and close it. In missionary. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. You're on top of her. Asking how. You're on top of her like this. Okay. Your hands are by the side. So okay. your hands goes under and under. And oh, then okay. you support. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but right. you can't do it for too long because you might start bruising this part of your hand. Then the other one is when you spread the leg, as far as you're above her, it's still missionary, right? Mm -hmm. Legs wide open and the hand goes above the leg and above the leg and grip like this. So you can move her up. Like you can this. control it. You can, you can move her up and down. Move ball. Move ball. You know. <laughs> move ball. Yes. Like, especially when she's thick in the side. <laughs> is there a position you're yet to try i have this card game it's called kamasutra i saw some positions that i have not seen in my life before oh. and i don't know how humanly possible it is to try those things out should i show you the card oh my god you have a card game one second Where is I think card it's, game? Uh... Yo, one my second. guest is ready <laughs> are you back oh we are excited <laughs> Oh, brother. So, this is the card game. It's called Kama Sutra. Oh, I can come into your house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is um, something that looks close to a 69. Yes. Okay. This one, I, I don't know what it's called. I know the position that you've not tried, where you won't try. Okay, uh, let's see the position. The sanitizer. Shimo. Sanitizer Hold on, is that the guy? The last guy on the room. Yeah. yeah. So the guy has to be I, in some you acrobatic. Have I don't. I, I tried it once, but I almost broke my waist, Mama. So oh. I doubt if I would ever try this again. Why was that one intriguing for you? Because of the height. Mm -hmm. It feels like the penetration with the girl on top will be a lot deeper. No, but it's very uncomfortable for the guy. I mean, how would you be like this? all true and then she's going up and down so it will be very uncomfortable for the guy like extremely uncomfortable because i tried it once and god knows i could barely go two struts it looks like all you have to do is maintain your balance mm -hmm. so nah, that she it's not that easy bouncing on even kemen even kemen that is a physical trainer here cannot try it ah <laughs> <laughs> Niggas with not so average size penises that position will be good because you're receiving the entire penis and it's elevated. If you got a big penis, I'm not doing that size with you. But what if the person on top is bigger than the person below? The thing with that particular style, this is it. The guy has to be flexible and able to hold exactly. his position for as long as possible. I think the girl would enjoy it because for the girl, it's something unusual. So it's a mental turn on for her. 
But for the guys staying like this, having blood rush down your down your head, down to your head, right. and staying like this, I don't it's think not there's anything. It's not. Right. There's it's nothing it's about this position that the guy would like. Nothing. Exactly. So moving straight on, let me show you all a position that is similar to Ike's position that he's shown, but that is more comfortable for the guy, that is comfortable for the woman, and you're still able to get that same level of penetration. Mm -hmm. So, I'm showing you this right now. If you guys can see, I can you see the picture? Yeah, I can see it, but it's not similar to that it's one. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. But, you see from this position, yeah? Now what you're seeing is that the chair is giving support. you support. And at the end of the day, sex is about how you feel. It's about the end result. Amaka, the beauty of the position that you have on right now is the fact that the girl's clitoris gets to rub against the guy's, um, what do you call that part above the pernis? His, um, his so, navel area. Is it above the navel? Just be yeah. below, below the navel yeah. area and above the pernis. So if the guy is mm -hmm. inside and you hold her like okay. this, you mm. know, if she's tied to you, her clit rubs on, on that part of your body. And so it gets she, she get, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she gets to... If she's not very sensitive, because some girls are very sensitive and then they cannot uh, handle it when their clit is over... Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like me. I said that last week. But this position, guys... Okay, so the thing is about position is that they have different names. This particular one, if you want to check it up on um, Kama Sutra sites, it's called the Amazon. It's a great missionary position that you can use with a chair. But if you want deeper penetration, then use one without a chair. Like this is showing a literally just a stool. So what happens is that the whole penis is actually able to enter inside of you. So if you don't have a particularly large penis, this is a good position to have sex in. But here you can see that her legs are not touching the floor. If you want ample penetration, let your legs touch the floor. Like for me, and Felicia is here as a woman, yeah? What I love most about this, what I find is that when you're able to gravitate on the dick mm -hmm. up and down without any pressure, it tends to like trip them. So with this position, if you can put your two legs on the floor and literally just use gravity to go up and down without going all the way down and without going all the way oh. out. Mm -hmm. What I see in this position, and what I know about this position, it's the 5G connection still, because there's still some form of passion between the people making out. And with this position, you can do a lot of things. You have access to her boobs. You can kiss her. If the guy is very strong, the guy is very strong, he should be the one in charge, like, to control the pace with this like, position. Yes. Be able to, support. like, support you. As yeah, so it's not, it's not really about the girl anymore. So about he should be the one sex. to support. Right. You know, that's it. Because even the way she is, without her leg being on the floor, her legs are on your thighs, she can go up and down at any pace she wants because she already right. has support. What is it that you like about this position? I don't like it. Oh, you don't like it? Why? No, I mean, I, I like so many other things, but this is one of okay, the Okay, so why don't you would... like this position? Personally, I have nothing against it, but when I'm in the mood and I'm in the ding ding dong dong dong, you get, this doesn't come to my mind unless the lady um, requests for it. Right. You know, there's so many other things that I would want to do, and this is probably one of the least things that will come to mind. This position is really good if you are not that huge in the penis department. The penetration is deeper for a woman if your feet can touch the ground. So that way you have ample control. And like IK said, it's nice if you're able to support your woman in this position. I will show another one, but I get so excited in this particular position that I would want my feet to be elevated. So the next position, what I try to do for today's show is bring up positions that are not very common, but that are common. So this next one now, ah, Ooh. It's called the butterfly in Kama Sutra. It's called the butterfly sex position. Where you are having sex, actually, this that means the position that you have access to. Because you cannot do this on the bed. Unless it's a very high bed. Because if it's a normal low bed, the guy has to kneel down. So it's not the same thing. So this is what you would do in a classroom when you're having prep. Or in the office. 
or in the if kitchen. If you have an office crush, the kitchen island, if you have an island in your kitchen, like your pillow, you got a chair like this. You can do so it. So unfortunately, the picture is not showing the full position. So guys, this position, her legs are actually wrapped around his neck. So with that position, it makes it that it's easier to, especially if she's not too heavy. This can be done at the edge of a table, or it can also be done at the edge of the bed, right? The beauty of this position is when, is when you, the guy, you're not moving at all, but you are using your hand to control the movement. So you're using your hand to move her, but you're stiff. You just stay the way you are, and yeah. you hold her, move her up and down, the hips. back and forth. You can control it however you want. You can move her back and forth, up and down. You can even hold her. You can carry your hands up to the back and lift her up the way she is, if she's flexible. You can get her all the way up to and your face. Yeah, and then she sits up. on your face <laughs> and you can yeah. 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 If she's very hairy, then when you're done, use toothpick. Remove this. <laughs> Okay, I did not sign up for this. So. <laughs> so I've dated some evil guys that if you shave, it's an abomination. No. If you shave, to them, you're cheating. That means the guy is not a chewer now. He's not a chewy. <laughs> it's a the no guy no. is a chewy. Do you know what a chewy is? No. Mm -hmm. If you're a chihuahua, a chewy, a chihuahua, you want to eat a I'm lot. Amazon, no. <laughs> I know. Personally, I like a feel of different things. I want my woman to have different feel. Today, she's hairy. Next so tomorrow, she's different. clean shaved. The next what day, that's like, no hair. So every single time, it feels like I'm going into a new place. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want to always feel like I'm going into a new place at every point in time. Like mm -hmm. you're so, having a new experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when it comes to the chewerization of this life, she have to shave if you want to enjoy that chewing. Exactly. If not, mm -hmm. As you're chewing, you realize it's nasty. Some evil boys, they don't mind. That is what trips them. Don't get me wrong. I have nothing against girls that have the bush. I have nothing against it as long as it's clean. It's a position for the guy. But if the girl wants to get involved, it's very important for the girl to communicate with him what she likes about it. And like Ike and I just said right now, from that position, you can lift her up to your face and do a nice oral. But do you, do you know one thing here? Yeah? I had an experience many years ago with this chihuahua in position where I had to lift the girl and keep her on the wall and eat, right? And my kind of women are thick. Like, I like my women with the big behind, mm. you get. So she was getting into it and she was moving and she affected my spine in some way. I was in that trouble, that pain for about three to four years after that. Oh, wow. So it's also very risky because when the girl is in the mood and she starts moving her waist back and forth and stuff, because you're holding her, you're trying to hold, you're trying to keep that position, you know, it can affect your back. Like if you suffer from back problems naturally, you don't try this. Is that what you're mm -hmm. saying? It's not that you're trying to impress women. You, you're going to end up in, um, what do you call it now? In um, mm -hmm. pediatric... Okay, so next up we have this position right here, which again is similar. But this time it's on the edge of the bed. So for deep penetration and clitoral play, try this particular fun position. This is easier because it's at the edge of the bed. Not all those beds that we're using in university that <laughs> mattress on the floor. <laughs> the kind of beds that we used to have back then is mattress on the floor alone. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. You cannot try I this guess, one. Without. I guess, I guess. As you can see, it's a high bed. And what I love about this position is being able to put my two feet flat on his chest. Mm -hmm. As you're seeing in this picture here. So what happens is that when you draw her towards the edge of the bed, this is also another position for deep intercourse. So if you're not too blessed with size, this position is great. Place her bum bum on the edge of the bed and then grab her feet and wave them on your chest. Like you and just don't care. You stroke. You stroke. Like your life depends on it. But you stroke with wisdom. You stroke <laughs> according to how... And maturity. Can... And maturity. You stroke according to the response of her body. Now, women, if you have difficulty reaching orgasm 
or reaching your G spot, this is a good position to try and attain that. Our special guest, Aike Ogunna. What are the pros, the benefits of this position for you? This is very similar to the previous, the last position that you showed. The only difference is his hands are not on her butt, yeah? So, but in this position, you have to do a lot of waist control. So, right. she really can't do too much in movement. So, you, the guy, has, would have to do all the work, you know, and sweat it out. For me, it's not really about positions. And, you know, you want to do all the positions in this life. Some women are just good with one position. Like in everything you do, there's only one position that will probably make them come. In the midst of all the fun and trying to do wheelbarrow, butterfly, and this, this, that, 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 you need to know what really gets to her, what really gets her to that point. There are two other styles that I do like. She's lying down on the side like this. You carry the leg, one leg up, and you stay oh, in between. Oh, yeah, so you stay in between the legs. So one leg is up. She's backing you, facing the other side, but you mm -hmm. kneel down between the two legs and carry one leg up. Yeah, you grab one loaf of nyash when you're doing it, you know. <laughs> if she lies down flat, like she's lying down flat, you put a pillow under her waist. So she has this, like a massage position, but put a pillow under her waist so it elevates her bum. And you just go from the back and you press down her waist like this and hit it. So this next position, IK, is the closest to what you were saying. So this is when she's <laughs> lying on her side. This is the masseuse and his client. The masseuse and his client. <laughs> well, you know, you don't massage woman before and give a happy ending. Yes, no. Like, I want to introduce, quote-unquote, common positions, but ones that are easy for you to try. Now, this one, the woman gets to lie down on her side and goes literally on the edge of the bed. Mm -hmm. With this position, for me, if I want to have deeper penetration, I want to have better penetration, I would lift one leg, leg up. up. That's what he was saying. Right? Remember what he said. Mm -hmm. so if he's on the bed, yeah. he can lift that leg up. No, so I'm yeah, on the Yeah, but in this, time, in this time, his leg has to be between, between the, the flat leg flat. and then one leg up. That's, That's the only way you can get to deep penetration He's with this cold one cold. but if you do what this emeka is doing here uh this she has a big bomb bomb like my kind of thing nah charlie no but let me let you me correction it. actually if you keep your legs closed in this position and tightly together whether you have a big bomb or not if you have a big bomb it's obviously an advantage but ladies if you keep your legs tightly together in this position it puts pressure on the penis making it feel like it's a tighter squeeze of an intercourse that's going mm -hmm. in and out. You have a big penis, or more than average penis. You will enjoy this position with her legs tightly joined together. Now, if you don't have a greatly big penis or an averagely big penis, is where she will now lift up her legs so that more of you goes inside of her and she gets to feel all of you. The sexual positions and sexual pleasure, unfortunately, depends on the type of equipment that you have. And if we're honest with you, confidence is everything. It's not what you do, but the way that you do it. So if you don't have a greatly big penis and you're with a girl that enjoys foreplay, you better master foreplay. Yep. Be the master. I've met girls that would not want to sleep with a guy if the guy would not have foreplay with them, right? But I've also met girls that do not like foreplay. They want to go straight to the point. If Let's you go on their the boobs head. and you suck it for 10 seconds, she's like, ah, stop, 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 stop. It's tickling me. You know, you, you say, okay, let me go and give you two hour. You go down there, say, no, 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 no. You get, so I don't know, the, the, mm -hmm. too many restrictions now, now becomes, now makes it mentally boring for you, mm -hmm. you know? And then you just go in. What applies to one might not apply to Does all. Does not apply to others. I agree. Mm -hmm. Now, this position right here, um, it's, I don't know if you guys can see the picture properly. No, this is here permanently. This one is like missionary position, but to the side. So you yeah, lie on your right before. hand this side. This is what I was telling you before. So this was uh, the exact like position. Before. Yeah, that's it. 
So the beauty of missionary positions is that it can unfold into other positions. Now, again, we're talking about deeper penetration and we're talking about deeper connection. I find that when I'm with a guy and he's not that blessed, missionary position doesn't do it for me. You feel that you're not getting the depth that you want. Women, it's important to be vocal sexually. Well, funny enough, for women that want to get the depth of a guy with a small dick, the best thing to do is for her to um, lie flat on her back and lift her legs up. If you're flexible enough to, to move your legs as far back as possible and his weight is on you, all you have is the punami, pum pum, right straight up to you. So whatever you have, even if it is toothpick or small chewing gum or whatever it is, or tom tom, it will enter inside. But for me, sex is more about um, communication, you know. Sex without communication is bullshit. Because you might be with a girl that likes aggressive sex, that likes the BDSM, pull her hair, slap her, bite her nipple, you know, slap her ass, all that kind of shit. You know, you might be with that kind of girl and she tells you, oh my God, you are the God. When you're done with her, she faints and you feel like you're the God. And you meet a girl that likes her five minutes of pleasure. Once she comes, she's done. A lot of girls that make my mm. money for that. When they come one time, it's game over. Now, you come in with that beast mode, you're not complimenting each other. So you need to know exactly what I need to do to please you and what you need to do to please me. Some men, their weakness is their nipples. Yep. You know that once you go to that area, you don't boss. You don't finish. Two seconds, everything. Don't, don't women, boss. Women, 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 <laughs> women, women. Women, sometimes don't rush a guy's nipple when you start having sex. A lot of guys, that's our weak spot. You go and touch nipple when the guy has started kissing you <laughs> and you say he has come after 10 minutes. What, what are you expecting? Finish. If you want to enjoy long sex with a guy, avoid touching his nipple. Oh, wow. Do what you want to do. Hey. When, you are, when you have come, you're come and you're okay and within you and your heart, you have known that you have come, you're come. Go for that nipple. Okay, so Back on. Go for that nipple. I and once you touch that nipple, my sister, his life will not be the same again. Oh, I can go. I can. Do you, do you have? Are you the type that has sensitive nipple? I'm like, we're not talking about me. I'm giving an advice. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> my nipple is nipulated. Do you need whipped cream on it? Oh, wow. No, no. <laughs> I don't like all that. I'm so mad that you guys can't see these positions properly. Next time, I will try and um, get a better picture. But this one is almost like the last one that we talked about. This one is similar to this bed position. But instead of her facing you, she's actually sitting, backing you. Again, mm -hmm. it's on the edge of the bed. <laughs> and why I wanted to bring this up, IK, personally, I get excited and let's say we've gone to the club, we've had a bit to drink, you know, everything gone live, hi. This position right here, I enjoy because it gives me flexibility. A lot of girls have had sex in the club with this position right in front of you and you don't know. Be scared of girls wearing short skirts in club. Okay. Things that are happening, you do not There's know. There's underwear <laughs> underneath. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is doggy style this position apparently is known to be guys favor now please help me put the rumor aside is this a man's favor i don't think a lot of men like doggy as much as they say they do like it why do you say that okay i think the women enjoy doggy more what? No. Nah. I don't think that's true. Nah. Ladies, put it please to, comment. Put it to vote. Ladies, put it to ladies, vote. Please comment in the section. I never used to like doggy. And this is a very important key to factor for men. Because there was no physical, like, facial contact, my body would naturally dry up. So doggy position for me was always uncomfortable because I have sex mentally. So mm -hmm. if I'm face down and my ass up, I can't see you. I can't feel you. So what would happen is that a naturally wet 
juicy pussy, I'm sorry to mm. die now, would then start to turn dry because I only have your back contact. I thought we were correct in this. As a guy, and it's a guy thing, most guys have done four times the number that you've done as a woman. So I can say I've not done a head count of how many women I've been with, but I am sure I have done four to five times the number of men you've been with. You get. So when a woman comes to tell you her sexual experience, she might not tell you everything the way it is because people only know how far when you are in the bed with the person or unless she's your best friend, you get. You get. But I've been with different people and to an extent, I can say this amount of people um, in percentage or in ratio, um, women would probably love this more than this. And men would probably love this more than this. So as a guy, and I say that with my guys, guys like doggy when the girl has big bum bum. Exactly. Because that pleasure of the bouncing butt coming back to you, the fact that you can spread it open, <laughs> you get. Yeah. The fact, it's, it's visual pleasure on its own that you can spread it open, that you can spank right. it. You know, all these things are the things that gives us that joy. But the people that enjoy it more are women. Maybe, I will not blame the women that, that say they don't like it here. Probably they have very small bombs. So any small thing, one bone will break. You understand? I <laughs> Can I say something? Can, my butt, can we my, say something? My butt is bigger. Yes, her, but, her, but her butt, butt, butt is, is bigger. I'm yeah. telling you, a lot she of men... She got a big booty. I got some. I, I, got, I, got, I got some too. Watch. Listen, I feel like some men just don't you, want you to got, sit You got some midi midi down there. And some you know, some down men there. just don't want to sit a woman's face. Yes. So probably they feel guilty of something. Precisely. I'm telling so you. So they bury my some dear, Ask the guys here. If a guy likes a woman's body and doesn't like her face, the first thing he does is going to turn off all the lights. He don't want to perceive your face. He don't want to even remember the face he saw before. All he wants to do is feel your body. He will turn <laughs> off all the goddamn lights, even the TV lights. So what I want to say is that I like to be expressive for other women who are not as expressive and think that maybe something is wrong with them. Right. For me, for a long time, doggy style was very difficult to stay wet. So for me in doggy, I can't feel your arms. I can't feel you. And I can't see you. So when you're behind me, automatically, I start to get dry. But when it comes to being dry as a woman, two things. Mm -hmm. Some women, when they come, they have mentally switched off. One. Two. You might be having sex and back and facing the fan or the air condition. So a lot of wind yeah, or breeze is going you inside. To Two, stop you from number three, work. if a woman is getting wet, all you need to do is... And you but, continue. Can I can say something? Tell I want to say something. Tell him. Sometimes if you're fucking your man, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, that person has hurt you before. Mm -hmm. All right? It's, it's hard for you to stay wet. Mentally, mentally, because yeah, that's a that's a mental disconnection now. Whatever you've been through, yes. So why are you fucking him in the first place? You feel so why why are you fucking in the first place? Him. So you you're able to stay wet easier. We're not saying all women, but we're just saying that for some women, men, we want you to know that doggy style because we can't see you, because we can't mentally feel you, our bodies may dry up quicker. Yep. In that position. I personally, if I really like you, I just want to see your face. Yeah. That shit turns me Okay, on. you know what? Me personally, I will speak for all the women with big booty in Nigeria and Africa and the rest of the world. <laughs> because that's been my spec for the longest time. The bigger the booty, the better the berry for me. Right? Ooh. And all the big booty women that I have been <laughs> with in my life, they like the doggy style. As a matter of fact, they love it. See, a woman with a big booty, yeah. When you're doing, when, when you're giving her doggy style, not all your dick gets to enter because there's a lot of meat. Flesh. You get. Speaking yeah. Out. But a girl that is skinny and stuff, when you're giving her doggy style, everything is getting. This is my womb. <laughs> skinny girls. All the skinny girls here can admit to that. My womb. True, I agree. That I and she faints. But you don't see a big booty girl saying my womb. Because mm. there is still excess meat, meat that you have to pass it. through 
before you now get into the region of colonial destruction. What are we talking about? And another thing is, for those girls that are skinny, if you know that your womb always gets affected when you're doing doggy style, then you bend down. So you when you turn, down. you bend down. You no. put your, your head on the, on the bed. Pillow. Yes, chest on the pillow, head on the floor. Bah. That is it. Okay. Don't classify this style with doggy style because you're disrespecting the particular style. This is doggy extra. You cannot you cannot classify this style with doggy because they're not mates. This one is a different style on its own that needs to be created. Let's just call it I can doggy extra. Now, where I was getting to, Ike, is on a regular basis, doggy for me, like I would say, because mentally I would switch off because I can't see you, I can't feel you, I don't have a personal connection with you. But now, being the bad girl that I am, meaning that I can pleasure myself with or without you, I appreciate doggy a lot more. So if you asked me, Amaka, five years ago, what's your favorite position? Doggy will not be one of them. But now, do you understand? It's very difficult for a woman to get there unless you're experienced. Now, mentally, I know a doggy, I can come a hundred times. Before I come the real one, like natural one. Like. Yes. And especially with this position that is dipped. So not only is it easier for the G-spot to be hit and found in this position, Especially if you can dip your waist and curve your back very, very well. Somebody said, for Dougie, you don't need connection, Jerry. You do. It, <laughs> no, but, you do. Right. No, this is, why, this is why we're talking. You do. For Dougie, you need connection. And if your girl is dry or she's constantly dry, Dougie position is not the position that you want to do with your girlfriend if you want intimacy. Well, let me say, right, that's what this person is trying to say. For example, if you really like the person, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you can get dry. But looking at the person's face makes you get wet. That's missionary. And that's where missionary comes but, into Amaka, place. Amaka, Amaka, that means you don't really, you're not really into the person. Do you know what it means to like somebody? It means that you're obsessed about the person. You can be in another country and just thinking about the person gets you wet. It makes you come, yes. You know it is your man's touch. Do you know the power of mental vision is stronger than physical vision? Just oh. knowing that the person hitting you is your man, not you seeing him, so but it's in your head. It, it should mentally turn you on. So I think that the person no, so the is probably doing stuff with... On, I agree, the mental turn on is there. I'm with you. My problem, mm. what I'm speaking is, please, is there are women that are watching that understand, is staying wet. You have to be into the person. The mental turn on is there. So what I find is that I'm wet, I'm stimulated, I'm hyped. But as soon as you turn me around and you I'm bend me over me from the whole and I'm taking it from the back, after a few strokes, because I don't have any physical contact. My love, that's because you are a love maker. You're not a, you're not a bangist. There are some girls that can only stay wet when you are aggressive on them, when you go all ham on them. Love making is boring. No, day. even even when they love you, love making is boring to them. They like it when you go hard on them. That's when they enjoy sex. I agree. Even when you post all those, Amaka is a crazy girl, I see past it and I see a girl that is so into love. You love love. You love the idea of love. Right. Am I wrong or right? True. Amaka, am I wrong or right? <laughs> no, but it's true. Say it. yeah. it's true, but you don't get you it. You are a love person, so you trying to do things that you've seen in porn or you've seen here or there that looks exciting doesn't mean that your person agrees with it. I what's the difference between fucking and really making love to you? Now, for fucking, yeah, let me just say, for we guys, you cannot fuck every day. You meet a girl today, the excitement is there. You want to eat everything that that one day, so. The first few times, maybe first two times, you might give her that Kama Sutra extravaganza. You might give her that, you know, I fucked you and you're going to, I will remain in your head forever. But when you start dating that person and you guys are seeing every single day, I wake up on the same bed, all that kind of stuff, then you find out that you now have a routine. You find out that you now know what she likes and she knows what you like and Every now and then, it's wake up in the morning, missionary or doggy, 
you know, it's the same thing over and over again. And then you might, you might have those explosive nights when you go clubbing and come back and you're all tipsy and it's a fiesta again. So at the end of the day, I don't think everyone enjoys fucking that much. A lot of people actually do enjoy love making more than the actual fuck, as we would call it. So that's where the connection comes from. Mm -hmm. That is true. So you see, that's where, now going back to that position, when he was saying, what's the best position for making love? Making love. Missionary. Missionary, right? You're right. I yeah. agree. Yeah. For a long time, I felt that men felt that missionary position was a lazy position for females to get into. I would be against it because I want to show that I'm not lazy. Do you understand? But missionary position, if we're honest, is one of the most deepest, most impact. Like, I've had orgasms where I cried. Mm -hmm. Only twice in an orgasm. And they've both been in missionary position. When you can look at the person in their eyes. You can even still fuck a girl with missionary. Like you can still go very hard on her with missionary. You can go very slow. So this particular one mm -hmm. is missionary position, but you wrap your legs behind your head. So if you're very flexible, this position is mad. Round yeah, that's what I was telling you earlier. I said with this style, if the guy wraps his hand above this leg the booty like 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 in between this leg and through the back to the booty in between that leg through the back to the booty and lift her up like you lift her up like this like a like a beast yeah guys if you want to do this position and your dick is not your penis is not that big and females mm. if you want to feel great penetration is to put a Pillow. pillow underneath your butt you see this position here once you put a pillow or two it gives or you three, support it makes you come closer under her butt under her ass it elevates the pelvic muscle it elevates the pelvic bone and it gives you support the muscles come closer giving you a deeper penetration i can you may not need this so but because I, maybe you're blessed we don't everybody, know not everybody's like you but those that are watching that are not, now calm down. <laughs> Elevates the bomb bomb. She will feel like she's receiving 10 inches when you're really just 4 inches. Right. Or 6. This Truth position is. is great, guys. Especially if... For ladies... example, this is the pillow oh. right here. Oh, okay, okay. The butt has to be right here. Okay? This pillow gives you support. Hold it, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, it gives case, you support. Yes. So if the dick is little... And it's little. When you're pushing that. When you add another pillow. Another pillow gives you more. It gives the dick length. Now, the beauty of this style is the fact that the dick can rub against the upper walls of the pussy. Like the upper walls. That mm -hmm. part where if you want her to squirt, you have to play with that upper part. Oh, wonderful. Which would stimulate her more. Mm -hmm. But for someone like me, you get, I would rather use my hands to elevate her than use the pillow. I feel more connection when I'm the one lifting her with my hands so I can control it. If I'm enjoying it more and I feel that she's giving me a better response when it's up, I can stay up and I can always go down. It's not restricted to one style. So if you put a pillow, you're, you're restricted to one particular position. position. But when you control it with your hands back and forth, back and forth, in that way, it's not restricted to one position. Because of the muscle, you already have the muscles, IK. Some people don't. So you have to think about it that way. Some people don't. Uh, if you don't have muscles, don't have sex now. You don't have to be. No, you must not now. <laughs> you know, that's this? why a lot of people need a fat belly niggas. Fat belly, let's <laughs> say. Yeah, Let me tell you yeah. something. Do you know that so many men you see out there with big tummy are fucking strong? That's not the point. Being strong is not so a it's, problem. It's, it's, so I when can. I say muscle, when I say muscle, it's not about the physical. These niggas that have big bellies, don't try and give them props. Right. For guys that have big stomach, do you know? Do you know the advantage they have above we that have flat stomach? What is the that? fact that if a girl is riding a guy with big tummy, she would come faster than when she's riding a guy with small okay, with flat tummy. Rubbish, 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 I don't rubbish, agree rubbish, with that. Do you know why I said that? Do you know why I said why that? Because even myself, when a girl is riding me and I want her to come faster, I have to blot my tummy out so that her cleats can rub on my tummy while she's riding me. Okay. If you like, 
bloat your tummy out a thousand fold. Your bloated tummy is an average tummy. Have you ever read a big belly nigga before? You have not. You don't know what I'm the not going to get the point, yeah? If a girl knows how to use it well, she would enjoy it because you have a tummy that is directly close okay, to your clit. Listen, I'm very confident sexually. I know what I like sexually. Ladies, help me back me up. I dated some guys that don't have your physique. Right. I dated guys that have 5D stomachs. And the most annoying thing about dating guys like that is that you have sex with them, like say it's paid. They lie on their back expecting you to ride them mm -hmm. because if they climb on top of you missionary or try to get at you in any other position not only will they lose inches from their already small penises right but the pleasure is not the same because all it's gonna be for real for real is cowgirl position me sitting on top of you riding trying to you get like all of your inches inside of me riding you like i'm from texas riding you like i'm being paid for it because <laughs> i be riding 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 That's riding, like riding from texas. trying to get that stimulation while you're just lying there feeling relaxed and then when i'm tired and out of breath and exhausted and i still haven't come We'll now go to missionary position where you will lay your fat ass, <laughs> your whole weight on my body, missionary position, okay. and give me maybe five, four, or six strokes if I'm lucky. I think that for every size, for every kind of person, there's advantage and disadvantage. It's just let for you to know how to use your size, whether big or small. Let's even talk about something that a lot of men find offensive that women do not know about. Because uh, what is let it? us know, let us know. A lot of women just um, think it's all about small dick, big dick. But a lot of women have bad pussy smell. Ooh. Yeah. When you see them talking about it, they think it's a normal thing. They think it's, it's normal pussy smell. But it's not. I think... The most important thing when it comes to sex on both sides, one is hygiene, two is connection. True. Some people don't care about connection that much. That's why a guy can pay a prostitute money and sleep with her and forget about her and multiply over her name the next day. So we might talk about Kama Sutra, lift leg, this one, that one, that one. But we are talking to an audience of people that would have different ideas of sex and have different ways of reaching pleasure, mm -hmm. you know? So what might appeal to you, Amaka, might not appeal to Felicia. At the end of the day, communication is key. Personally, I'm very good at faking orgasms. I'm very good at faking pleasure. So Women are. Women are. Just say it that way. So for me, it's like, if I'm bored of sex, but I think you're an amazing person, I don't want to offend you, mm. I may just, oh, oh, ah. Oh my God! Sure, oh, sure. oh! Ah, when really nothing. I'm not feeling shit. Shit ain't happening. The same way, a lot of guys think that they are enjoying the sex with with the woman. A lot of times, guys are having sex. They are not enjoying it. They are tired of the sex already. They want it to come to an end as fast as possible, mm -hmm. but they are faking it. They are giving you a doggy style, and they are tired of the doggy style already, but they are still faking it and just trying to write it on so that she would be satisfied because they see that she's enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you that you're pretending to the person, you don't know if he's actually pretending because he feels you're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So that's where communication comes into play. So if I'm giving you a doggy style and I don't like doggy style mm -hmm. and I'm tired genuinely of doggy style and you're tired of that style, but you're faking it, right. you understand? Awesome. So personally, I fall into the category of pleasers. I want to please the person I'm with, right? So if I'm doing something and you're faking it, you're deceiving yourself because I'm because I'm actually faking the whatever it is just to make you satisfied. I probably want to just finish all that thing and rush to my missionary and come and I'm good. I don't know how people say, oh, they fake coming. When a woman comes, her pussy contracts. Not necessarily splash, but you will feel the pussy get wetter. The okay. funny thing is it might get wetter for just 30 seconds and she will now get dry immediately after that. But you will feel that immediate contraction. And after the contraction, you will feel that express wetness. Yeah. It might stay longer, 
or it might die at that point. So a woman saying that she's faking orgasm for me, me ma, I will fake my own. Ah, I have headache. I, think I want to go and sleep. Question: Do men fake orgasms? And why? No, but they fake um other things like you could fake oh I have a headache or something or you know something I'm dizzy why? I need to like why? you know because you're probably if you're tired or you're not enjoying it. Sometimes the smell mm -hmm. the smell of the woman alone is very offensive. And what that woman that has that has a bad pussy smell will be telling you, give me head. Is she mad? <laughs> I don't know if you're getting me. Your punami is smelling. So you do not you, think to yourself, you want to go and wash in the back there. and I'm saying, give me head. So in a case where a woman is, me, I'm a very blunt person. I will tell you, babe, use my bathroom. No, because well, there is no reason. Go and wash. Will you wash me? But if I wash you and, and it is still smelling, then no more sex. We end it there. <laughs> if we're honest, if you have a smelly vagina, and you, especially if you do missionary position, you can smell yourself. Now, listen, there's a lot of women. As soon as they take out. Right, let's say you, you buy um, uh, an oud perfume. The first few days you wear it, you perceive it. Mm -hmm. But after a week or two of constant spraying, when you go out, people will tell you, oh, you smell good, but you cannot smell yourself anymore. That's because your nose adapts to your smell. So in that situation, a girl that has had this smell since she was a teenager, she grew up with this same smell. She and, thinks it's normal. And she thinks it's normal. She thinks mm -hmm. it's a very normal thing. Sex is a spiritual connection. Take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. It's both physical and spiritual connection. I will tell you, if I want to enjoy this sex, Baby, go and wash. Right. There's so many nice ways that you tell the person to wash. You can tell her, oh, let's go to the shower together. You, you go and shower. And you tell her, baby, I'll come and shower and I'll see. I've even kept shirt for you. We were talking about this before oh, yeah. we came on live. Yes. It's important as a woman that you know your vagina. Know yourself. Let's know never forget about vagina. Know yourself. Know what your natural pH level smells like. like. Mm -hmm. For That's example, true. right? A lot of women, like we, there's this thing that we don't understand. If you know your body, you know when you're smelling really bad. Yeah. Okay. And I felt like if my pussy starts smelling funny or funky, I know something is wrong. Mm. But if you're used to know how your pussy smell, it tells you when something is not right. And I'm glad IK is on board because men are also understanding to these things for me listen my ph level in my vagina it changes all the time right whether it's due to like a change of water you know lecky has terrible water mm -hmm. so if i'm on set filming somewhere and i have to spend the night and i know that the water is not well treated my vagina is going to have an infection a bv infection if I know that the toilet, for example, if I'm traveling to the east and I take a long road trip and I have to stop in between that road trip to pee outside, mm -hmm. I know that landing to where my destination is for the next couple of days, if I'm not careful, yeah. I'm going to have a disbalance in my pH level, which and means I'm going to get fresh. fresh. It's normal. But the importance with sex is having sex with someone that you can communicate well with. For example... When you see your period, and after two, three days, you know, whenever the black blood is coming out, your pussy really smell bad. Mm-hmm. Okay? A lot of women don't know that. Especially after your period. After your period. The dead blood. The dead blood is coming out. There are men who want to have sex. But I'm going to tell you straight up, listen, I just finished my period. Straight. Whatever blood is coming out, straight. it's still coming out. It may not, it not, might not be too bleeding. fresh right now. Yeah. It might not be bleeding, bleeding. Yeah. Coming out like that. But it ain't blood. 100%. But that smell alone, it's not going to be sexy. Okay? That's why a lot of women should learn to take probiotics. Probiotics are very good. Mm -hmm. After you see in your period, you taking probiotics, it helps you clean out your whole system. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can actually steam your pussy, like you sit on hot water. Yeah. Yeah. What that's another thing. Steaming, that's another like thing. your yoni, like yoni steam. Guys, this is a very conventional way, but it's about getting the right steam because our vaginas are very, very sensitive. There are some vaginal steams, yoni steams that actually help detox the vagina, make it tighter, moister. So you are able to get a better experience sexually. All right. So back to the topic. A lot of people want to know before we finish. Okay, this position here, 
I'm not too familiar with it. So your partner sits, legs open, leaning back of his hands and forearms. You do the same. So you're basically both leaning back like this. And somebody's coming from the front. And he's leaning back, coming from the front. So this position is very intimate, meaning that you get to look at each other in the eyes. It's almost like missionary, but see the Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Like anything that would... That allows you to have that passion and connectivity with a person to go for me i'm not a fan of always seeing my woman naked sometimes i want to have sex with you with your panties on you know i want to have sex with you with your panties on let me slide it to the side or something you know Break it. and when you speak to a lot of older women they will tell you and that's why a lot of older people are able to sustain their sexual life more than the younger people are now because they will teach you as a woman that don't always stand completely naked in front of your man. That's true. You get, so you're walking around the house naked. You're, feeling, you, you're so free with me that every single second you're walking around the house naked. How do you want to turn me on? I get used to seeing you naked all the time. But if your body is covered every now and then, I've been with you for 15 years, the second I see you come up from the shower, I have a hard on. Because sure. it's a rare occurrence. I get to see it only once in a while. That's a good point to make. Yeah. So that's one thing that so many women do not know. But it's a tool that you can use to always keep your man excited. You have sex. Maybe he enjoyed seeing you naked doing that sexual act. And then you run to the bathroom and tie it well and come back. Mm -hmm. And you have your bra and your pants on. Or you have something on. A long gown that you can see the nipples protruding. You can see the ass shaking mm -hmm. from inside. But you cannot see it. These it are too. ways that you should play with your man's head. But a lot of girls be wondering, why was this man so excited about me sexually when we first met? And then now I'm dating him, I'm giving he's, him my all. Right. And yeah. now he's not so into me anymore. But that's because he has seen you finish. And even as far as Instagram, mm -hmm. you find out that most of the girls that come on Instagram to twerk naked and stuff like that, you have the excitement the first few times you watch them twerk. Mm -hmm. But the next time they come, you probably would leave your video and go and If do you can else. get the milk for free, why would you buy the cow? Period. You get right. The beauty behind sex is the fact that you want to see more. A man wants to see a woman in her, in her lingerie, right? She's yeah. with her clothes on. And then you want to just see her. Okay, can you just take it off? Let me see you in brown pants. He has seen brown pants. He's tired of seeing it. He now wants to see more. He wants to see one nipple. From one nipple to two nipple to you being naked. So it's the same thing. Don't let your man get used to seeing you stuck naked. I'm not saying that you cannot be stuck naked in front of him, but don't make it a constant thing. You're walking around the house. You can be in the house naked. When you see your man coming back home, run and grab something. It helps the sex life a whole lot. Guys, please help me thank Ike Obonna for today's session. I think it's been real. I mm -hmm. think it's been informative. And it's been necessary. So, I thank you so much for being our guest. Thank today. you, Amaka. I real. love you.